want to take a look at low budget lighting and how I can get a nice even diffused light source for the studio. So I've bought this small light. Basically it's an LED light. Uh, it's 10 watt so that's about a equivalent to a 100 watt bulb. What I need to do first is to put a bracket on the bottom so I can use it on a stand. I've cut my uh, basic components. I just need to uh, assemble it now. So. That's the front bracket now on. So I just need to put the filter on. I've got some grease proof paper, cut it to size, I've got a bit of plastic, perspex and I've put some white electrical tape around the edges so that'll help hold my grease proof on for a filter. just start folding over the edges. Let's bring this one over. There we go. Right, I've shifted it about 80 mil. Everything's trial and error these days. Yeah, that should do it. I still had problems with this LED light. It was too bright in the middle. So I used a bit of sticky back plastic to stick over the centre part. Uh, and that gave me a nice diffused light source. The other thing is, putting things in front of the light it's cutting the light value down more and more each time I'm going to put a special plug on the end so I don't mix it with anything else so 0 0.75 that should be okay for an LED light don't get the ends mixed up I've seen people put that end up which is the receiver as the actual sender section. Highly dangerous. You can put your fingers. Ah, that's it. This is a basic floodlight. I've used these for years in filmmaking, but now I want to create some sort of holder on the front to hold filters so I can diffuse the light source. This is basically aluminium, very lightweight. I think it came off a shower unit. I'll use this to make the basic framework for the filter holder. Most of the aluminium is nice and clean and bright. Uh, but one end has been in the shower, down at the bottom, soap, various other chemicals. Uh, and it's really bad so being a bit of a perfectionist I wanted to clean it all off
trying to get a simple idea of how I can keep this square and drill the next set of holes. I can't hold it on the drill very well to bring it down. But I've got another idea. I use this old set square as something to drill down to. Fix that to the bench. I'm putting my section I want to drill to. And then that fits on top. And it should stay at 90 degrees. There we go. So that's given me a hole. Hopefully, this should drill through okay. Well, it's beginning to get shape. So the uh, filter's going to go on the front here. Just got to fix the other bracket so I can fix it to the light. I made a couple of holding plates so I put the filter on and this the plates I hold it in position. Just need to make a couple of screw holes in each one and we're done. This time, instead of aluminium, I'm going to use copper. Basically, I'm going to have to do some plumbing. To get it at the right temperature, that's the problem. Just need to see that little bit of... flux come out there. Here we go then, carry on. I've got it somewhere near level to get it exact. Tighten it up, but just leave a little bit of slack there so that you can give it an extra tap to get it lined up. Right. One done, three to go. Now I've drilled my wooden bits. I need to mark the copper. I'm just using a, a screw basically to give me a mark. Somewhere near. Now I've got the two points that I need to put drill and I've marked the back of my piece of wood here so I know that that matches with that section. Well, as you can see, I've got the greaseproof paper now acting as a diffuser, and uh, it should work pretty well. I've even drilled holes in the top of the aluminium casing on the halogen light. It's not going to go outside, 
and I get a little bit more ventilation so it shouldn't get too hot. To try an experiment just to show you that these halogen lights do get extremely hot. I've got my fire extinguisher ready, always be prepared. What I intend to do is to wire it directly in front of the light. Well there you have it, three simple lights. Have a go, see if you can make some lights. You don't have to spend a lot of money. See you soon. Please subscribe.